Welcome to FMC Midweek Devotion. Today's reading is on Hosea 8 to 10. So far, we have read through Hosea chapters 1 to 7, and we have learned the failings of Goma, Hosea's wife. Hosea loved her, showed her kindness, take care of her, yet she whore herself to other men. Goma is very jealous, right? Then we learn that Goma's story is actually an allegory or a reflection of the nation's Israel. God showed Israel kindness, care for her, love her. God had been faithful to Israel, yet Israel whore themselves to other gods. Israel very jealous, right? When we hear or read, read stories like this, we say, wow, this character very, very jealous. After which, do you find yourself saying, hey, I know somebody who is also this jealous too. He needs to hear this or she needs to hear this. Do you? Well, this was exactly the reaction of the people of Israel. After hearing the prophecy from Hosea, Hosea chapter 1 to 7, in Hosea chapter 8 verse 2, the people say, Oh God, we, Israel, we know you. In other words, they were saying, Oh God, we are not like that. They were deluded. When God spoke to them of their sins, instead of reflecting on themselves, they were probably using it on others, saying, It's not us, it must be somebody else. Hey, I know somebody who needs to hear this. My friends, this is the first principle of doing daily devotion and quiet time is to use God's Word, the Word of God, as a mirror on ourselves. Try to see yourselves in the mirror. What is God saying to you today? Not, not others. James 1 says, Be doers of the Word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away at, and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, being no, hear, being no hearer or who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. God is speaking to us, to you, to each one of us. Are we like Goma? Have we been unfaithful? Are we disobedient? Are we like Israel? What have you been whoring yourself to? Your money, your mortgages, your career, your relationships or yourselves? To produce a fruitful harvest, a farmer has to plow and to plant and water the ground properly. It's the same with our hearts. Hosea 10 verse 12 instructs the people to sow righteousness and plow the ground in order to reap the fruit of God's unfailing love. To reap the best fruit, we cannot just only open our hearts to, to God. We must be prepared. We must open our hearts, be completely breaking open the ground around our hearts. Sin, it forms a thick war around the heart and we must actively awaken and engage our heart to become more like God in order to harvest the best fruit. It must be active, not passive. It must be intentional. We must work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Philippians 2 verse 12. Through corrections, repentance and grace, we are able to break open the unplowed ground and receive the blessings God wants to give us. In farming, time is of essence. The time is now, not tomorrow. What is the mirror in Hosea showing you? What is God speaking to you today? Ask God to search your heart. Today is the day to turn around and give your heart to God. Have a good day.